Welcome to my channel Suspense Recapped. Today I will explain the movie name Parasite Part 1. Spoilers here, watch out for the movie. It is shown at the start of the movie, that some mysterious aliens known as parasites are making their way to the city from the sea. Then a sleeping man comes on the scene in his room. One of the parasites crawls and enters his ear. That man is irritated, but he goes back to sleep to sleep to sap him down. Now a boy appears named Shinichi. He is listening to songs at night, adjusting headphones in his ears. That parasite tries to enter his ear but of on avail. Shinichi feels itching and considers it an insect when it goes to his nose. He throws it away while picking it up. He moves to crush it. Then that parasite comes on his hand skin after cutting it. His mother also arrives at the same time. He exclaims, look. My hand has become infected. His hand has no trouble when his mother checks it. Next morning, it is shown that Shinichi feels some irritation in his hand when he is at the dining table. Then a man is shown whose ear was infested. He stands in front of his wife. He opens his monstrous mouth which was too horrific. And he engulfs his wife's face through his monstrous mouth. And it was happening due to that parasite. Then Shinichi comes on the scene and meets his friend on the way to the school. She observes his mysterious actions. When he reaches school. Then something unusual happened to him. As his right hand got much strength. Coming to his house, he tries to bruise his hand. But his hand mysteriously defends itself while stopping him. Then it is shown that his hand has transformed into a parasite. And it was communicating with Shinichi. Further, it is shown that he not only used to read Shinichi's books but also used his laptop. Because it was interested in human beings' ways of living. Shinichi had stopped it to go ahead when it tried to enter his body. So it only had an infected right hand and was handling this hand. It declares its name Miji. And it requests, never cut me off. I will not harm you because you are my entertainer. It appears now that Shinichi and Miji were creating a friendship bond. But all infected people by parasites were creating havoc throughout the city. They were quenching their appetite after killing human beings. Contrarily, Miji drags Shinichi to a hotel where many parasites were eating the flesh of human beings. They misunderstand as Shinichi is also infected so they offer the flesh. But they move forward to kill him after knowing that he is still human, not being completely infected. But Miji defends Shinichi, attacking them. Because it could also die with the death of Shinichi. So he had acted for himself. News is broadcast that natives are being killed. And on one is able to know about the killer. Because parasites were carrying it out tactfully and covertly. Shinichi says to Miji. Why do you not restrict your companion's parasites to not eat human beings? Then Miji replies, you also eat vegetables and other types of animals. In the same way, our food is human beings. So what is wrong with it? Miji used to sense the type of parasite in its surroundings. Going to school, it tells Shinichi that there is another parasite near you. It was not anything else but his teacher. Witnessing Shinichi, the teacher knows that he is infected. But she says that there is no need to be afraid of me because I don't want to harm human beings. Rather, I am knowing human beings' ways of life so their attributes may always remain in me. It leads him to two more parasites including a police officer and a student. It says, this police officer is my spouse and we are expecting a baby. And that baby will be a human being. And we also wanted to lead our lives like humans. We will not put anyone to death in public because it is unharmful. But we want to eat in private. Will you be a part of our group? But Miji disagrees. Next day, the same police officer comes to them. Then Miji reveals to Shinichi, he has come to kill us. Because he had detected that we had ended a parasite in a hotel on that day. Meanwhile, a police officer attacks him. Miji and Shinichi fight with him. At last, he kills him. Coming into the house, Shinichi was feeling guilty as he had taken a life. Contrarily, it is shown that a parasite moves to another human's body coming out from a police officer's body. It was not anyone else but Shinichi's mother. And she was proceeding to Shinichi to kill him. Miji exposes to Shinichi, she intends to kill you. Shinichi says to it, be careful. If you say something about my mother. Because he had cordially association with his mother. He never wanted to lose his mother. At first sight, his mother's face also transforms into the parasite like other parasites. And she attacks Shinichi. He nearly died because of his waste of blood. Next morning, it is shown that he has restored himself. Miji says, you were badly injured but I cured your wound with NY cells. But the threatening thing was this as Miji cells had transferred into Shinichi. He was under an infection completely. Now Shinichi begins to search for his mother. But he finds her nowhere. Then he asks about the police officer, going to the teacher. 
But the teacher does not reveal anything. Miji tells him. I will have to sleep four hours a day. At that time, you will have to fight alone because I will not protect you. Having Miji's cells, the attributes of Miji had started to appear. Now it is seen that a student has transformed into a parasite. The student who was shown by the teachers. He takes admission in the school of Shinichi. He pretends to be the friend of Shinichi. With the passage of time, reality is exposed to everyone as he is a parasite. Then that student kills everyone. After this, he moves to kill Shinichi's friend. But Shinichi jumps off the building, taking his friend. That teacher approached there who wanted the death of that student. Because her secret may be revealed by that student. She explodes bomb there but remains safe. Police approach there but that student also ends up shooting the police. Miji tells Shinichi, student is on the building roof. Going to another building's roof, kills him while shooting an arrow. Then he returns to the teacher and asks the address of that police officer who is a parasite. Teacher tells him the location. The parasite of that police officer was still in his mother. But it is the rest time of Miji. It means, Shinichi had to fight alone here. Somehow, he cuts the throat of that parasite in order to end it. His mother and police officer are killed later. Then Shinichi is shown visiting the hospital to meet his friend. He is saying that I will kill all the parasites one by one. Then it is shown that someone is taking their photos. And he was a spy. The movie part 1 is completed here. If you want to watch the next part of Parasite then you can subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Do you like this type video then subscribe my channel Suspense Recapped.